tricky stuff. Okay, so we can do that. And that is a possibility. And you are just about at the borderline where that can be tried. The kind of things are to actually shorten your foot. Shorten it. Yes. To make the foot smaller. That takes the tension away. Yeah. I've got saw and bones and we can do things. I will talk to you a little bit more about it. But just understand the concepts and the okay. options that there are. Okay. Yeah. I'm only thinking about the options at the moment, not exactly how I'm going to do it. Okay. But we can shorten the foot, which will free up the tendons a little bit on the front, so you will not have as much pain as what you're having there. Your crunching almost certainly is happening because you're taking too much weight to the front of your foot. And some of that weight will be redistributed because your foot will not be quite as much pointing down. It will be pointing down to some degree, but it will be less pointing down. So some of the pressure will be off. Okay? Yeah, but uh, the damage is already done. Will that go away? No. Oh, okay. no. But I have a, a, a thought in that direction as to what we may be able to do. The x-rays will tell me a little bit more okay. about it. Okay, So that is one of the possibilities. That Whatever we can do, um, it may or may not be possible to free up this and this. If we can free them up, it is likely that you will get a little bit more movement in there. Okay. There are other options as well, where we don't have to bother about this at all. Okay. But that, I suspect, will be for a later time. The front of your ankle has got relatively good tissue and skin and if we find that there is some arthritis in that area which the x-rays should show then I may suggest something completely different for this as well. The last option is of an amputation and if there is an amputation it will be done at about at that level. You will have a prosthesis and everything that comes with the prosthesis. Okay? The okay. whole lifestyle change. What did it become? Below the knee? It will be below the knee. It will be somewhere. You will have a stump about that long. Okay. Okay. So the prosthesis can fit in here. There are potential issues with that as well. But I am not going into the ins and outs and details. Over the next few months, we will explore all these different options so that it becomes easier for you to have a conversation with us about which particular option will be best for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. They have done an, an MRI scan, but they have done an MRI scan just there. They haven't included that bit. And that's why one of the reasons why I like to have, when I'm asking for investigations, I like to ask for the investigation myself because the questions are in my mind. And I need the images to actually be able to resolve that. Unfortunately, the, none of the images show this particular area. Yeah. So it may be that we'll have to get another MRI scan then. Okay. Um, but time will tell. Okay. So the one thing you can go away home with today is that I don't have all the answers. But the other thing that is important is that we will together try and find as many of the answers as possible and find some options. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Great. And I'm not a magician. <laughs> okay? Yeah. But there are options, there are possibilities which you may be willing to accept. One of the important things to remember is that the pain that you are getting in, in here, some of it is coming from the nerves. Yeah. And the cry of the nerves I won't be able to resolve. I can't do anything much about that bit. I may be able to take away the pressure pain that is coming from here. Okay. Maybe to get your ankle into a more neutral position. You've got a heel here and this bit here, which should be able to take a lot of the place in your joints. Okay, so they all look reasonably okay, but your ankle obviously is pointing down more so from here as compared to from here. Okay? okay. So your the rest of your foot might have been aligned reasonably okay. So it is not just the heel cord which is the main reason. Most of the problem is that there has been tightness around the, uh, the skin graft site on the um, arch of your foot. Where is the foot model? The foot model. 
here somewhere. I was just using it. Oh, maybe I've taken it into the other room. Oh, there it is here. So, so, you see, if you look at it there, yeah. it's not too bad. It's, it's over from here that it is dropped down. Right. Okay? So this then means that it is possible to improve your function by an operation if it was possible to do it safely. Okay? Because when there are secondary operations, everything becomes very different, very difficult because there are nerves and vessels which are going where we don't expect them to be, you see. So what we tend to do is in these kind of situations is we get the foot from this kind of a position to there by sometimes cutting little bits of bone from here and taking little wedges out and pulling them off. That is possible to do in your case because the skin on the top of your foot is okay. So we can go through that good skin and do some of those. That won't completely take away all the problems around here. And this might require a fusion operation where we stiffen up the toe here and take out some of these bits of bone to shorten the foot. Okay. Okay. Now, I am just conjecturing at the moment because these are just possibilities, but I can't do it on my own without the plastic surgeons being in, in, uh, in attendance and to discuss it with the plastic surgeons. So essentially, I will have to sit down with them in one room with you and try and work out, is there a, a doable plan for getting your foot flat? If there was arthritis of the joints here, then I would have suggested that we stiffen up your ankle here with a different type of an, with, with a fusion operation. Okay. I don't think that, that is something um, that no. is warranted. It is not easy. This is the problem that was done there. Yeah, yeah. It is. This is not easy. There are some quite tricky things in there because under normal circumstances we would do an operation on your heel cord to stretch, stretch it out, do an operation on the sole of your foot to stretch out the bit that is actually pulling it all together, pulling it down and then do these bits of operation here and do the bits of operation there. The more you do on a foot where there has been so much of damage before, there is a danger that the, we may damage the blood supply into the rest of the foot that might lead to a situation where the wounds don't heal up, they might get infected, the infection might not be correctable, and if that happens, you might end up losing your leg after that. Okay. I, would be, I would be very, very unhappy. You would be even more unhappy. Yeah. Okay, so if that happens. So we have to overall think of what options there may be with a degree of safety. Okay. Okay, so all that I'm suggesting at the moment is that we will very closely have a look at what options there may be. I will organize it so that I can see you with the plastic surgeons in tow sometime together. When? I don't know. Oh, sorry. I don't know. Okay. I have no specific time like this. NHS doesn't allow me that. They think that I know everything. And when it comes to me, that's it. I will sort it all out and send you home all well. So it's not going to happen that way. Okay? So we will be meeting each other a few times, I suspect. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Questions? Um, if that type of operation happens, how long will it, will it take? How long will it be in hospital for? Um, okay. If that happens, it's a very far away question. Okay? So there is an if which may never happen. And that's an if whose answer I'm not willing to give you now because it depends a little bit on exactly what type of procedure out of all the bits that I have been talking about that is. So um, each particular type of procedure will have a slightly different rehabilitation protocol. Okay. Okay. There is definitely something you can do for me. There is a possibility, possibility that I might be able to do something for you. Okay. Okay. But that possibility must be filtered with the caution. Okay. 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 That there has to be it, it has to be a safe option. Okay. And if you asked me now, the one question that I was hoping you would ask me is how many have you done like this? How many have you done like this? 
None. None. None with a foot like this. Okay? So, and nobody will be able to tell you that they have done many like this. Okay? So we may be able to do the operation inside, but we normally go through normal skin like this. Yeah. Okay. And it heals up normal way. Your skin will not heal up the normal way. You've got abnormal skin. You've got abnormal structures inside. There are little blood vessels which have been plumbed in there and there are all these little bits of metal that are there which have been helping the blood to flow into your foot. There's metal in the foot? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, because they are staples. They are the bits that, that block some blood vessels and open some blood vessels. Really? Mm. Tiny, them. tiny. Yeah, they won't tell you because these are just routine operations for them. Okay. Okay. It's not big pieces of metal. These are little, little staples, which in the olden days they used to so tie so stitches. So yeah, yeah. If I make it big, then you'll be able to see. You see these bits? Wow, yeah. It's not so What's the one on the bottom, the big one? This one? There's also a staple. Oh, okay. It's a bigger staple. Okay. Seems complicated, eh? Did they not tell you that it was complicated? <laughs> it is. It was. It was very complicated. And they are trying to save somebody's foot, which is like in the, the situation that your foot was in. It was complicated. So the one thing that I definitely don't want to do is to undo the good work that they had done over so many years ago. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. And as long as both of us understand that. Yeah. If I refuse to do something, you will know why it is, okay? okay? If I believe that something is likely to make your foot worse off than what you are now, then I would not do it. Okay. And I would suggest, I would very strongly suggest to you that you do not consider that option. Okay? Yeah. So, in the meantime, have you got an insole in this foot? No. So how do you walk around with this shoe? What did the orthotists do for you? Podiatrists. Podiatrists? I think they said, it, they said if they built it up, yeah. they'd have to build it left one up, maybe seven foot nine, something. Who was the orthotist? And I really don't know his name. Um, was he yeah, the sort of stocky guy? Okay. All right. I may actually bring you in into one of the clinics on Friday. Okay, when it won't be the plastic sense. For plastic sense, we have to plan well in advance, but this one might be a little bit quicker uh, in Morriston and uh, we'll have a little chat with one of the podiatrists in there and see if we can do something better than what has been provided to you so far. Uh, I'll buy some just in, sometimes in the wheelchairs and mostly using. All right. I, I understand that. Can you can I see you walk with your shoes and they don't really like to put any weight on that foot at all, are you? Skin it. Yeah. Don't have to try and do that anymore. Just take a seat and that's fine. I will I will sort things out for you so that First of all, you are seen in the podiatry clinic yeah. with me, uh, and then uh, I'll, I'll sort out with the plastic things. Thank you. Glass of water or anything? Um, I just the um, payment I had. Okay. Mm. Have you got many pairs of, of trainers? Um, we moved on to Skechers and Nikes because the sort was better than them. Uh, Are you able to take weight and walk with the Skechers? No, not, not really. You're still walking the same way as what you're walking now? Yeah. That's that's the way that he always walks, is it? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. but yeah. you'll find the Skechers more comfortable to me. Yeah. He wears them in the house more, more except that. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so all that I'm saying is that we will 
take it forward. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll, we'll inform you as we, as I know more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The MDT. That's what it is for. MDT. Yes. Multidisciplinary team meeting. That's what it means. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank